Hey kids, how are you? It's Miss Anne, in case you have forgotten who I am. And we are, uh, we are just so excited to bring this to you, to have something just for you. So we hope that you enjoy this little story. Uh, and within the story, there's going to be some things you'll learn about Jesus. And I hope you'll talk to your folks about it after we get done. The uh, reading that we have today is called Quiz Out of Season. And the, the preference of that is the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy actually, chapter 4 verses 1 through 5. And I would encourage you maybe to start having your Bible close by so that as soon as we're done, you and your mom or you and your dad or all of you can sit down and read the entire scripture. But basically, 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 5 tells us that someday everybody's going to have to, to stand before God and we want to be there and we want our friends to be there. And some of our friends don't go to church and some of them don't know anything about Jesus. So it's our responsibility to tell them anything that we can to make them know that they love Jesus and want to serve him. So as you listen to this story, just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, hopefully at the end, we'll have a little challenge for you. Quiz out of season. Sam hurried into his Sunday school class. He loved being there with his friends and he liked his teacher too. Today, we're going to start out with something different, said Mr. Prescott. I'm going to pass out a little quiz. The boys groaned. Don't look at your paper until I say you may, added Mr. Prescott with a smile. Mr. Prescott walked around the table, placing a sheet of paper and a pencil in front of everyone. Then he walked back to the front of the class. When I say go, said Mr. Preston, turn your paper over and begin. Ready? Go. Sam didn't mind taking a quiz. He always listened to the teacher and he knew the Bible stories well. But after picking up his pencil and turning the paper over, he looked at Mr. Prescott. What is he thinking, Sam wondered. He raised his hand. Mr. Prescott, this is a math test, he said. Yes, replied Mr. Prescott. Look it over. Can you do the problems? I guess so, answered Sam. It looks easy, but I don't understand. Why are you giving us a math test? This is Sunday school, not regular school. This isn't where we do math. The other kids nodded and looked at their teacher. Mr. Prescott smiled and nodded too. I hoped you'd ask about that, he said, because I want you to think about a principle here. Most of us are used to doing certain things in certain places, aren't we? You do math at school and we talk about Jesus at church, of course. But sometimes God wants us to talk about him in other places too. The Bible says to be always ready to answer those who ask us about our faith. It also says to be ready to preach the word in season and out of season. In other words, when it seems normal to do that, like in church, and when it doesn't. You mean like in school? God might want us to talk about him at school, asked Sam. That's right, said Mr. Prescott. Just like you all know enough about math to be able to do this test here, you should also know enough about God to talk about him there. I believe you could all pass that test as well. And that, kids, is based on the verse that's the second verse, which simply says, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Let me ask you this question. Do you talk about Jesus anywhere you go? Are you okay with that? It wouldn't be hard to tell someone that two plus two equals four, would it? It shouldn't be so hard to tell people about Jesus and that he loves them either. Don't talk about him only to your Christian friends or here at church. Learn to talk about him no matter where you are. Make it a natural part of your conversation. That scripture tells us to preach the word and it doesn't necessarily mean preach like Pastor Sam preaches. God doesn't expect you to stand up in front of your class and preach a sermon. But what he does expect is when somebody asks you about maybe going to church or your friends at church or asks you why you believe in Jesus, you don't shy away from that. You don't get embarrassed and say, oh, I don't know. You tell them about Jesus because Jesus has given you the opportunity to do so. So today, think about that and maybe think about some of your friends that don't know Jesus. You know, if they don't learn about him when they're young, chances are they won't go to church when they're older and learn about him. So you need to be the preacher in their lives and you should enjoy that. Let's pray this morning and or today, whenever you're watching this and uh, ask God to help you with that. Jesus, we are 
so thankful for our kids. And we're so thankful, Lord, that you give our kids a tender heart and a loving heart and that they do care so deeply about their friends. Lord, I pray that as their friends might ask them about you, that you would give them the words to just simply tell them who you are and that you love them. Lord, would you watch over them and give them courage? You tell us that we can do everything that you call us to do in your strength. So Lord, help those little guys out there today and those middle guys and those bigger guys to know that they can count on your strength when those times come and they start to get nervous. Lord, just calm them down and give them the words to share you with their friends. Thank you so much for being with us today, and we pray that you will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey kids, we'll see you next time.